Hey peeps, welcome back to Elephant Memories. It's Dale here. I want to thank you for spending some time with me today. Art is a type of therapy for many people, definitely me. When I'm in the zone, my mind stops racing and is super focused on my paintings. I've really fallen for mixed media using acrylic paints in resin layers. And if you haven't already guessed, my favorite subject is magnificent ocean creatures, especially whales. Today I'm gonna to be working on a mother and calf humpback whale on a serving tray to make some functional art. So let's get going, shall we? This painting took many days to complete, so I've sped up the more mundane prep work so you can still see the process, but we'll be able to get to the more interesting detail part sooner. First, I've drawn a simple sketch to act as my guide for the base painting. Next, I'm painting the base blue as we're looking down at the whales from above. I'm adding streaks of white. This is to mimic sunlight beams as they're entering into the ocean. in the what I would call ugly duckling phase right now. Honestly, most of this layer will somewhat disappear by the final version. Finally, for this layer, I'm just gonna paint the whales white just to create a blank canvas for the next layer. Now, for the first resin layer, I'm using two blue colors. I added acrylic ink and a small amount of pigment powder for a little more opaque look rather than just translucent. Randomly mix the colors together and let dry overnight. To start the second painted layer, I'm going to concentrate on the mom. I usually go with my medium color as a base and then I'll add light and dark tones for depth and detail.
Mom is below the calf, so she will have more shadows. Looking at the size of the calf, which is about the length of the tail fluke, means that she is a newborn. I'm picturing this as newly born calf resting on mom's head for support, just learning how to use this body in a huge new world. Mom's white pectoral flippers identifies her as most likely an Atlantic humpback whale. This means they're in the shallows around Silver Bank, off the coast of Dominica Republic. So here, I'm just roughly adding body identifiers, like the dorsal fin, the vertebra and the tailstock that extends into the flukes. Now it's all about blending and shading. Think about where the sunlight might hit the water. The ridge along the tailstock is the high point. The sunlight is to the left of the body, so I will add light areas to the left side and shadows to the right. Don't be afraid to add strikingly light or dark areas.
For these pectoral fins, the darker flesh color will extend into the white a bit. It may look like I'm jumping around a bit, but that's on purpose. Some of the paint needs to dry a little before it will blend better or start some small details. Okay, now for the calf. As I said, she's newly born, so her skin is still going to be very light in color. Her little pectoral fins and tail flukes are very rubbery at this point. So I'm adding just a few details. The sun is shining directly on her, so not as many highlights or shadows. Just finishing up a bunch of small details on both whales that's going to give the painting meaningful realism.
time for the last resin layer. I'm continuing with a partial translucent look. Two different colored blues with acrylic ink and a small amount of pigments. As I remove some of the dust specks, look at what was the original ugly duckling base layer. You can only see some hints of white streaks that I had put underneath the mum. Now for the final touch. I'll add wisps of white as I think there's a beautiful warm breeze welcoming this new calf. I'm heating up the resin with the heat gun and then gently moving the white around to create that wispy look. And that's it. Here's the finished results. The resin layers give a great sense of depth. I hope you enjoyed watching my process and found this relaxing and inspires you to give it a try. Don't forget to subscribe and give us a thumbs up. That way you'll see more of these as soon as they come out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.